सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी नैपसैक प्रॉब्लम सो इन द जीरो वन नैपसैक प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिविंग सम कैपेसिटी एंड सम आइटम्स सो इन माय केस कैपेसिटी इज फाइव एंड आई हैव गिवन फोर आइटम्स विद देयर प्रॉफिट एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज यू वांट टू सेल दीज आइटम्स इन मार्केट एंड यू नीड टू कैरी दीज आइटम दीज आइटम विद दिस वेट एंड यू यू आर सपोज टू मैक्सिमाइज द प्रॉफिट so item ways are 2 3 4 and 5 and the profit as 3 4 5 and 6 so i have created a table so what is table representing this table is representing multiple bags so this representing a bag of size capacity 0 this representing a bag of capacity 1 this representing a bag of capacity 2 this representing a bag of capacity 3 this representing a bag of capacity 4 this representing the bag of capacity 5 these are multiple bags these are item item of weight 0 means nothing one item second item third item fourth item and these are the weights 0 if i does not take anything do not take anything the weight will be 2 0 and if i take first item then weight will be 2 if i say take second item weight will be 3 third item weight will be 4 and five item fourth item weight will be 5 so these are the weights i am listing out the profit as well So if I sell first item, then I will get the profit as three, with four, five, and six. If I do not put anything, let's say if zero means zero means nothing. If I do not put anything in this uh, in these bags of capacity zero, one, two, three, four, five, then I will get nothing. so nothing means these rep- these cells representing the profit cell then i will get nothing and this is the bag of capacity 0 so these all are bags of different capacities so if i So if I have a bag of capacity zero, so I cannot get any profits because I I will not be able to put anything. So this will also be zero. Profit will be zero. Now, if I put if I want to put my first element and its weight is two, so can I put my element of weight two kg into a bag of size one capacity one kg? So these are our kgs. no i cannot put my 2 kg weight in a bag of capacity 1 kg 0 can i put my 2 kg weight in a bag of capacity 2 yes i can put then i so what what will the profit profit will be 3 now till now i have only single element single item of weight 2 so if i put this 2 kg in a bag of 3 kg then i will get the profit of Three, because I do not have other items till now. I have only sing. I am considering only single items. If I put this two kg in a four kg, so maximum profit will be three. If I put this two kg in a five kg bag, then I will get the maximum profit as three. Now come to the second item. Second item weight is three. Can I put this three in a bag of capacity one? No, I cannot. Just copy the previous entries. can i put this 2 3 kg in a bag of 2 kg no so just pre- copy the previous entries can i copy this 3 kg in a bag of 3 kg yes i can so what will be the profit profit will be 4 okay now i have two items till now i have two items 1 and 2 if i now i have bag of 4 kg and i have two items so if i so at a time i can put only single item because combined weight will be 5 so i cannot put 5 in a bag of capacity 4 either i can i can put 3 either i can put 2 okay so to maximize the profit i will put 3 because if i put 2 i will get the ma- uh, profit as 3 so profit will be 4 because here i am going to put an item of weight 3 now i have a bag of capacity 5 okay now i have two items can i put two items in a capacity of 5 yes because my both items combined weight is 5 so i can easily put 5 kg in a in a bag of capacity 5 and what will the profit 3 plus 4 will be 7 so if you look carefully 
this is the kind of dynamic pro problem sub problems because now initially for a 5 kg bag we had the four items now for a to maximize the profit we had the four items now in a 5 kg bag we consider two items and we are maximizing the profit with the help of these two items so maximum profit with these two items is seven now come to the item number three so what is the weight of item number four it's uh, what is the weight of item number three is four kg so can i put four kg in one kg no just copy the previous cell can i put this four kg in a bag of two kg no just copy the previous profit just copy the previous profit now i can easily put this 4 kg in a bag of 4 kg so what will the profit profit will be 5 okay now i have a bag of 5 kg on till now i have three items so how to maximize this 5 kg with the help of these three items so if i put 4 as it is then profit will be 5 i cannot put 4 plus 3 I cannot put item 2 and 3 because their weight will be 3 plus 4, 7. So 7 kg I cannot put. I can put only 5. So 5 means I can put 2 and 3. 2 and 3, 5. Uh, uh, I can put item 1 and 2 and their weight will be 2 and 3. So means 5 kg and then profit will be 7. So these are item 1 and 2. And this is also item 1 and 2. okay come to the uh, come to the item number four which weight is five so can i put five kg here no just copy just copy just copy just copy because i cannot put five kg in a bag of four kg okay i can easily put five kg in a bag of capacity five but if i put i will get the profit as six which is not a maximum profit because if you look for previous elements, the maximum profit for 5 kg was 7. So we cannot put this directly. Means we will not consider this item for maximizing the profit. Just copy the previous entry. So the maximum profit for 5 kg bag will be 7. So how this 7 was created? How this 7 profit was created? Just look this column in bottom down manner. So here is a 7 now check for the previous row we row for previous items so till now for three items there was seven okay just go behind for till two elements the profit was seven okay just go behind no the profit was three so it means seven profit was earned when we put the second elements so we consider the second element now go behind the profit is three okay just go check if three was earned someone else no three was earned only item number one so consider the item number one as well so item one and two combined gives us the profit as seven so we will carry item number two item number one and two and their weight will be two plus three will be five and their profit will be three plus four equal to seven now this is the oral uh, formula this is the oral way of uh, filling this bag there is a formula for calculating all this the formula is m i comma c maximum of m i minus 1 c p i m i minus 1 c wi so what is the i i means ith item c means back capacity and c's values lies between 0 to 5 okay so and what is the c minus wi means c is the capacity of your bag and wi means weight of current item so let me use my formula once 
so let me consider i want to calculate this 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 so it's mean item number 1 first item for which bag bag of capacity 2 2 kg bag okay so here i is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 maximum of m i minus 1 1 minus 1 c is equal to 2 profit of ith element means profit of first element plus m i minus 1 and capacity back capacity is 2 and item weight is 2 so this will be maximum of m 0 to profit of p1 profit of first item profit is 3 this is comma not plus plus m 0 comma 0 so what is the value of m 0 to so for the first row all bags have 0 so this is the first 0th row so for the 0th row for all bags this will be 0 3 plus m 0 0 0 so answer will be 3 so that's why we put it 3 here this is 1 comma 2 so we put it 3 okay let me calculate some negative entries so can i put 3 kg weight in an in a bag of 2 kg so let me calculate so item number 2 so i is equal to 2 and bag capacity is 2 kg okay so m 2 2 maximum of m 2 minus 1 2 p2 i equal to 2 here so we are calculating the profit for second element m i minus 1 means 2 minus 1 and the back capacity is 2 and the item weight is 3 so maximum of m 1 comma 2 comma profit of item number 2 is 4 this is 4 plus m 1 comma minus 1 so if minus 1 comes it means we cannot put an item of weight 3 in a bag of capacity 2 so just discard this complete entry so the answer will be maximum of 1 comma 2 and that is the 1 comma 2 is 3 so maximum of 3 equal to 3 so that's why we put 3 here so this was the knapsack problem okay so you can easily put your entries as it is either you can use formula you can easily put your entries thanks for watching just look at the uh, some entries were missing i guess so here i was trying to calculate i is equal to 2 c is equal to 2 it means for second item i want to put second item in a bag of capacity 2 so it means i, I am trying to put my second item in a bag of capacity 2 so then when then i so when i try so it looks like m 2 minus 1 because i is equal to 2 c is equal to 2 capacity of bag 2 p2 profit of second element plus m 2 minus 1 2 is the i and 2 minus 3 so 3 is the item weight and 2 is the back capacity this gives me minus 1 so it means i cannot put an item of weight 3 kg in 